Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook edition of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. It's here, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. Released by Sony, it can be found as a standard slipcover edition available at your local and online retailers. An Amazon exclusive two movie collection only available at Amazon and a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Now, when it comes to the film, I was a big fan of Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. I thought the art style was very unique, it was refreshing, and honestly, it looked gorgeous. I could really take any frame of that film, put it up on a wall, and it would just be a, a work of art. Now, with the new movie, they take that animation style and dial it up to an 11. Not because of Miles Morales and his world, but the other Spider-Verse, you know, characters. You know, Gwen Stacy's world and uh, Spider-Punk, for instance. I mean, they're great art styles. I mean, it looks gorgeous from start to finish. The story itself felt more like something you would see in a live-action movie. And unfortunately, when you ask the average person, they're going to say an animated film is geared towards kids, which is definitely not the case. Thankfully, you have creatives and, let's say, director Guillermo del Toro that looks at animation as a medium. And it's not, I would say, specifically aimed towards children. And I do feel that both the Spider-Verse films leans a little bit more towards an adult audience. This is personally one of my favorite movies of 2023. It's not to say it's perfect. It's far from it. It definitely has some, I would say, some unneeded goofiness. And once again, that may lean towards the creatives, you know, working with animation and felt like they kind of had to put it in there. Uh, some of the characters I don't feel were treated with a little bit more respect that they could have been. But that's just a personal preference. But overall, I really like the film. With this being a first of a two-part movie, it leaves off, I would say, in a good place. But I do have to wonder, no spoilers here, how much what happens at the end of the movie and the reveal is going to really factor into the follow-up. That's something, of course, we're all going to have to wait and see, but as a whole, I do dig the movie, and I do recommend you check it out. All right, we're going to talk about the picture quality and the audio in just a moment, but first, let's do a quick unboxing of the Steelbook. Okay, we have the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Um, I like the artwork. It's not my favorite of the available cover art that's out there, but I still think it's pretty cool. And now we have the back and the spine. And there's not too much going on on the interior, just some artwork on the discs. So, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty basic on the interior, but disc art's nice. Now, let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray has a 239 to 1 aspect ratio. It was upscaled from a 2K digital intermediate with HDR10 and Dolby Vision for the grading. For purposes of my review, I will be discussing the Dolby Vision encode. Now, animated films are always an interesting one to review on 4K. On one hand, unless you totally muck something up in the transfer, or there is a stylistic choice to be made with a palette, you're going to get bold, vivid colors and striking visuals. Add in the animation style, either the cut and paste Pixar or Universal look, or something more unique. Puss in Boots The Last Wish, for instance, which yes, I know is also Universal, and what you're presented with on 4K with HDR and Dolby Vision will be very eye-catching. With all that in mind, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is absolutely one of those visual showstoppers that will make you glad you have that fancy 4K setup. While the image itself is exceedingly clean, it's very filmic at the same time. This is not Despicable Me or whatever Pixar is trying to pass off as quality these days. It's not, I would say, pristine looking. In fact, it looks like a real movie and I appreciate it even more so here on 4K. The source is free of any imperfections or blemishes. The image enjoys a nice clarity, and despite this being an upscale, still has a notable uptick to textures. The film is a multifaceted work of art with varying style of animation, which at time chaotically collide with one another. Spider-Punk, for example, when he interacts with the other characters, had his own depth and definition, which is decidedly different from the others presented in the same scene. Close-ups of Miles show striking nuances that are clearly enhanced on 4K. As for the Dolby Vision, wow, this one pops. Keep in mind, though, it's not a melt-your-eyeballs experience, once again due to the art style. With that said, it still has a fuller look that nicely accentuates the palette. 
Black levels look well done and don't show off any source artifacts or issues. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray sports a Dolby Atmos audio mix. Now, one of my biggest pet peeves in animated films that unfortunately plagues most releases, at least on home formats, is the audio. This isn't even something I can blame studios like Disney for. Hollywood has been doing this for a number of years. It seems that whenever audio engineers hear the word animated, something auto-triggers that they need to nerf the sound design. As such, the Dolby Atmos in Across the Spider-Verse is woefully basic. The chaos and action that occurs in the film would be ripe for a purely dynamic surround experience, and it's just not. The entire third act when Miles is on the run is rather bland, with the fronts getting the lion's shares of the audio cues to the point I had to make sure my surround and heights were even turned on. Activity up top was minimally present, with no fluidity to match what was happening on screen whenever there was, I would say, significant output. Mid-levels and rears are equally uninspired and mostly seem to serve the music and score during the film. Dialogue, for the most part, seemed clean with a few moments of inaudible voice output, but otherwise, it's fine. As for the low end, it did barely move the needle a bit, but nowhere near what it could have. Impacts were a bit basic, and if you weren't even able to score one phone call complaint from the neighbor, did it even happen? For the picture quality, I'm going to give Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray an A-. The stylized look of the film is truly eye-catching with colors that pop off the screen, and the overall style of the film really benefits from the 4K enhancement. This is one fine-looking disc. For the audio mix, I'm going to score this one a C+. I honestly feel that Sony kind of let us down with the audio design on this one, and once again, animation gets the short end of the stick when it comes to the Dolby Atmos. Audio cues are pretty stationary, uninspiring, and really the dynamic activity that should be bursting through your home theater speakers just isn't there. This really feels like it was catered towards the TV speaker crowd and less so to the home theater enthusiast. So that is my review of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. If you're interested in picking up a copy for yourself, I will leave both an Amazon and a Best Buy link in the comments section. If you use it, it really helps out the channel. But if you have the discardy, let me know your thoughts down below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.